That's some grunt. What am I looking at? Female, early 40s, dyed hair, designer clothing. Likely another local high school mum. Just like all the rest. And when did you find her? Approximately 1700 hours, just before the peak hour rush. COD? Modern warfare? I'm more of a Fortnite guy. Cause of death? Asphyxiation. There's nothing visible. Another Birking? You could say that. Uh, they found another one in her throat. My god. Another Coles mini collectible. They aren't edible. Are they? It's the third cadaver this month, sir. All three middle-aged women. All three died of asphyxiation due to Cole's Little Shop collectibles. First, the Nespresso jug, then the Eclipse mince packet, and well, this one, it's hard to tell with all the blood and kime, but hopefully forensics will help with more detail. As a pattern. Thank you, Constable. I know who to talk to. Do not touch the table. Do not lean over the table. You pass him nothing. No knives, pens, pencils, lockpicks. If he tries to pass you anything, do not accept it. Only accept any items that he passes you that have come from me. You got a visitor. You boys play nice. He's all yours. Good morning, Dr. Lecture. My name is Detective Bobbitt. May I take a seat? Of course, Detective. You're here about that little shopper, aren't you? What a bad little boy. What sort of bargains do you think he seeks? I've been on this case for three weeks, and every single victim has had a different little shop collectible stuffed down their throat. Now, it isn't a boomer, because they assign far too much value to these ridiculous pieces of plastic. Nor is it a politician, as that would require them to get out of their office and actually do something. I have drawn the conclusion that it is somebody with a vested interest. Somebody who cares. The environment? No. Besides, what could be- Stop! Detective, think about the basic principles. Think of each thing, what it is, and what it is in of itself. Tell me, Detective, what is it- I don't have the time! or the filming budget for this, Doctor. Quid pro quo, you tell me where I can find this collectible killer, and I pull some strings to let you retake contracts. The last time a detective talked to me like that, I invited he and his wife out for dinner, and had a nice liver with some fava beans, and a nice Chianti, and nothing weird or strange happened at all. You have a deal, detective. The person you're looking for is a woman, wearing green. But if she doesn't want to be found, she won't be until she finds you. Goodbye, detective. Dig the accent. And what are you doing here? You've been asking a lot of questions, Detective. I know you've been looking for me. The green shirt. You with the greens? <laughs> Hardly. I'm much more powerful than them. Well, that's not difficult, is it? Wait, who are you? My name is William Andrea Worths. My friends call me Wool. Woolworths? Woolworths, you're behind this. I admit, when I first released my line of Lion King Ushies, I thought the boomers would frenzy. I mean, who doesn't love Lion King? I guess my confidence may have come from when I gave up drinking and threw away my liquor license. And then the movie came out, and it looked like Hans Zimmer had a baby with the National Geographic magazine. And to rub salt in the wound, Coles came out with a new line of mini collectibles. I mean, Cole's Bananas! Who even buys that crap? And now, I'm at the top of my game. 
The boomers are raking in my plants, just like Wally on a drunken night out. And I can't let you stop me. Surrender, Wall. It's not worth it. Oh. Thank you for shopping at Woolworths. The fresh food people. Constable, I got her and put an end to her little shop of horrors. Wait, Grant. What? Grant! Grant!